up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy has thunderous kicking power amongst the scariest kickers in the world of mixed martial arts, and his opponent has to be keenly aware of that danger. All right, well, this guy is almost certainly planning to take his opponent down and unleash some of that vicious ground and pound he is known for. That's what got him to the big show. That's what got him to the UFC. And he's not just good at the ground and pound from a skill standpoint, but maintaining that top position that sets him up to unleash the nasty punches. He'll mix in the elbows as well. An outstanding ground and pound fighter who is looking to employ just that here tonight. One thing to look out for from him is his low kicks. He throws them with devastating power. And if you can't defend against them, he will kick the legs right out from under you. It doesn't take too many before you start to lose speed and punching power. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart with the same height and reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He's down six feet one is tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, shut down. And now he his opponent. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He's down six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, the doctor. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavigne. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. All right, ready to go here with live action as we get underway here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. That punch will work right through the door. Yeah, it's, it's freak. It's like he's cheating. You know, it's like he's got rocks in his gloves. Oh, the roundhouse lands and with style points, Joe. Right hand upstairs. Good defense there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Big nice power in that hook. And we got a fight on our hand. And now starting to snap oh, off he that got left hook. He's got him hurt here. get double underhooks on you. It's a very bad situation. Oh, lands that punch. Back up. Ooh. Gets the single leg takedown. He got tagged there. Beautiful punch. Oh, elbow to the head. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Both fighters back to their feet now. Wham! The right and the left behind it. Just missed with the left there. And there's that inside leg kick. Look at that. 
Misses a huge hook to the head. Nice takedown. That strike will count. Moves to half guard. Nice shot to the head. Showing good defense, covering up, stopping that ground and pound. He postures into place. Back to half guard. He's now working for full guard. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Hey, stop. One, two next. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Brittany Palmer doing fine work as usual. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. There he goes. Wow. That's a boom. Wow. Combinations here. He's in big, big trouble. Oh, he missed that kick. Nice one, two there. How about that shin? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, big left hand there. Hit him with the Superman punch. Beautiful uppercut there. Oh, this could be it right here. Oh, what a wild exchange. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Caught him with a punch. Got him down. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Two minutes remain in the round. And back to full guard. Trying to spin to the back. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. Oh, he did a nice job avoiding the clinch. He doesn't want to hang out there. Big, straight left. Huge uppercut misses. Oh, that's the defense you're looking for, Joe. Kick blocked. One minute now, says the round two clock. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Oh, nicely done defensively to avoid the double leg takedown there. And he's back up again. He got hit with a left hook. by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, and it came just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool. 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. And let's take a closer look at that from a different angle.
The original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. All right, so here we go, third and final round. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Missed that shot. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. See the total strikes. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Kick lands. Big oh. left hand! That's a nice one, too. He's in big, big, big trouble. Hurt him with that uppercut. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than oh, just one oh, strike at a time. Oh, He's got him hurt here. Big shots! Oh, straight right! All right, so the question... Oh! That's a big hook. Hard Superman oh. punch. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Big body shot. Body. Oh, he connected with an elbow. Back to the feet. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Oh, he is wearing it. Bleeding from his cheek now, Joe. Battle for position here. That knee might have landed there. It's right on the button. Oh, oh, big nice knee! Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. Nice leg kick. Twenty seconds now. Oh, he hurt him. He hurt him. Oh, oh clipped him again. He's hurt. He's hurt. All right, so this fight goes the distance. We should have a clear winner in this one. He was able to knock his opponent down once in the fight. Perhaps that was enough to warrant a 10-8 from the judges in that round, but clearly a dominant effort out of this fighter here tonight. And in all likelihood, he will be doubling up his money when he is announced as the winner here in a moment. Here's Bruce Buff. Really clear-cut victory. I doubt the judges are going to have any problem with this one. Thirty twenty-six for the winner by unanimous decision. The doctor. Well, he didn't get the finish. He has to settle for the decision nod, but you can be sure he will take it after a pretty outstanding performance here tonight. Doubles up his money, gets the win money as well, and also has set himself up now for a massive fight moving forward. So congratulations to that young fighter on one of the biggest wins of his UFC tenure here tonight.